Hello, I'm Scott Casey with Vistacom, and I'm here to provide a brief tutorial on how to use the VPoll mobile polling solution. VPoll is the technology that we're going to use to conduct our voting at this year's annual convention. To access VPoll, we can do this in four easy steps. The first step is to open up the internet browser on your device, then go to the VPoll website, then enter an access code that is custom to your meeting. After that, you will enter your own specific login criteria that validates you as a voting member. And lastly, you select the polling session for this particular convention. To access VPoll, you have to use a device that's connected to the internet. The good thing is that you can use any device that's connected to the internet, whether that's a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, a computer, any and all devices that has an internet connection can use VPoll. Also, any type of internet browser, whether that be Safari, Google Chrome, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, again, whatever internet browser you have, whatever device you have that is connected to the internet can access vPoll. Essentially, the first step is to go to a website, and that is the vPoll website. So here, I'm going to open up my Google Chrome, and up in the address bar, I'm going to go to the vPoll website by entering the vPoll address in the address bar, and that is vPoll.mobi, and that's spelled V as in Victor, P as in Peter, o -L -L dot M-O-B-I, M as in Mary, O, B as in boy, I. And once you do that, you're taken to the VPoll website. And right there on the home page is the field to enter the access code. So I'm going to drag my cursor down to the enter access code field and enter the access code for this convention. And this year's convention the access code is 2022 DIOCON, D-I-O-C-O-N. Please note that the access code is not case sensitive. So it could be uh, all caps, all lowercase, initial cap, however you'd like to spell it, but it is not case sensitive. One thing I would like to point out on this screen is something that you should not do. And that is to click the login link in the upper right corner. So again, step two after going to the vPoll website is to enter the access code, and that is done in the enter access code field that we just demonstrated. If you were to click the login link in the upper right corner, then that would be an area where you would be asked to enter your email and your password for your very own vPoll account. That would be as if you were going to run vPoll yourself and conduct the voting rather than being a participant. So again, as a participant, you merely need to focus on the enter access code field right there in the center of the page. And again, you enter the access code 2022-DIOCON. Once you enter the access code, you then click the join button and you are taken to the login screen. The login screen is where you enter your login credentials. Your login credentials will be provided to you in a separate email and that will include your ID number and the email address that you must use to successfully log on to vPoll. Please note that you must enter the ID number and the email address that has been provided to you in that separate email in order to log in successfully. If you enter an incorrect email address or an incorrect ID number, you will get an error in vPoll saying that your user credentials are invalid and to please try again. So here I am, I have entered my ID number, my first name and last name, which is some additional information that will be requested of you, and my email address. The final step it, for logging onto vPoll is to select the polling session. So I click the drop down arrow where it says select polling session and select the 2022 convention voting. That will be the polling session for this year's convention. So you select 2022 convention voting and then you click the submit button. And once you do that, assuming you've entered all of your login credentials accurately and you, you will have successfully logged on, you will see the message, question will be broadcast shortly, please wait. When you see this message, you have successfully logged on to vPoll, so congratulations. And at this point, all you need to do is wait 
to stay logged in and wait for the point in time when we're ready to conduct a vote. So even though you may have logged on now, uh, the first vote may not be for another 30 minutes or so. That's okay. Just hang tight. You're logged in, and when we're ready to vote, the question will appear on your screen. You don't have to log off again and then log back on. So let's do some practice questions. Here is one of the typical questions you may have, a yes-no question. Do you approve the budget, yes or no? And you simply tap on your answer choice. You can change your mind uh, as often as you like up until you click the submit button. But when you do click the submit button, you should then receive a message, answer is successfully saved. This confirms that your vote has gone through and has been recorded. And just to point out again, um, once you click the submit button, that is the equivalent of dropping a paper ballot into the ballot box. And you can no longer change your mind at that point in time. So that was an example of a yes, no question. Another question type would be an election question in which you may have to select more than one answer choice. So here's a generic, please select three candidates. We have five candidates that are listed and you must select three. And please note that you actually, you cannot select fewer than three. VPoll will not allow it for this particular question. As you can see, I click on the first candidate and the, at the bottom it says fill all required fields. It does not say submit and you try and click on it and your vote will not go through. Now notice that after I've clicked a third candidate, it changed from fill all required fields to submit. That's because you've met the criteria of selecting three candidates. And of course, once you click the submit button, you should see the message answer is successfully saved. So again, that is the voting procedure. Simply tap on your answer choice or choices and select and select the submit button. And that's it. Uh, results, I do not believe, will be shared. They will rather be announced. Uh, so you will not see the results come up on your device, uh, but rather you will be told what the results are, whether something has passed or someone's been elected. And that is it. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, learn how to use vPoll, and best of luck at convention.